Hi, my name is Terry Buchanan with TrustedBeard.com Productions. Today we're going to discuss making an extension pole for photographers. So I've had several people ask about uh, extension poles for photography. Uh, what I use them for primarily is to get good elevations on houses uh, that I don't want to get my drone out for or I can't because I'm in a no-fly zone, that kind of thing. So I looked at them online and, and only found a few and they were very expensive. So I decided to make my own. Uh, I started with this Wor Worcester Sherlock painter's pole. I got it at Home Depot. Um, I think I paid taxes and all about $33. It is a, um, let's see here, it's a R057, 8 foot to 16 foot uh, pole. And I'll, I'll give you a close up view of that here sometime in the video. Um, and uh, the only thing else I needed was uh, a 1 inch PVC pipe cap. Uh, I need about 4 inches of 1 inch PVC Schedule 40 um, pipe to, to use. and. I need a, what is this? This is a, this one is a um, one and a quarter inch long, three eight, three eight, uh, 16 inch count, or I'm sorry, 16 thread count uh, bolt with a couple of uh, nuts on it for, uh, for it to be able to go into the base of the, I used a ball mount or a ball head. Um, and then I had some scrap screws and stuff. Quite honestly, I think some of this I had as scrap stuff anyways. I mean, you know, I, I collect things. And uh, so anyway, so we're going to go through how to uh, put this together and it really only takes a few minutes. Uh, let me mention something about this pole. The reason I chose this one, it extends from, you know, from 8 feet all the way down, all the way up to 16 feet. Um, this pole, instead of being round, it's six-sided and aluminum. And it's kind of heavy aluminum too. And what I like about this is it will... Um, it doesn't wobble so much like a, a just a plain round pole does. So this thing's very sturdy uh, and it, it locks into place. You hear it whenever I do it. I mean, I know it's secure because one of the problems I, I was thinking through was, you know, I'm, I don't want to be dropping my camera on the ground, you know, from 16 foot off the ground. So uh, the way I've done it is very secure. It doesn't come apart. Um, does pretty good. So uh, let's, um, let's start getting down to business. So I'm going to mark off about four inches of this uh, of this pipe. Uh, that's really all you need. You want to get it above the uh, the end of the pole because we're not taking we're not taking the thread sleeve out. In fact, I'm going to use the screws that are holding the threads the the this sleeve in so it will uh, so I can lock it to the to the pole and it won't slide off when you're working with it. So, got about four inches measured here. Let's go cut it. So, what I've got here is I've got the four inches, the body, I've got the end cap. I'm not going to push it all the way on there, you just see that. But that's where I'm going to, uh, to put it. Then this will go over the end of this. So, take these out. Now I'm going to use some scrap, some old screws I have. I want to secure this. I'm not going to glue it. I'm going to secure it with screws so I can take it back off if I need to. But I want to make sure that, that it will come off. Before I do that, this is going to be the threaded part that the head goes on. So I have to have a hole in the top here to fit this 3-8 screw. So I'm going to go over here and do that. Okay, so I'm ready to go ahead and install the, um, um, the, the bolt. 
Now this one is one and a quarter inches because that's what I could find. Uh, if you go with a seven eighths inch, you don't have to do what I'm about to do. I'm using one nut as a spacer because you don't want this to be too long. Uh, you want it to be, to be long enough that your camera, your, that your uh, ball uh, head will, will, will tighten down against the, the shell of it. So, but still have enough to get through the plastic. Okay, drop it right down in there. Yeah, I didn't make this one very straight, but it's okay. Here's my other nut. The reality is you're gonna be dealing with, with trying to level it up anyways. So if this isn't exactly straight like this one is, you can see is off, I got off the very crown. Um, it's okay. Let's tighten it down good because you don't want this thing to be moving around in there. There we go. There we go. See, I got just enough thread on it for this to go down on it and tighten down against the nut. So there it is. Again, I got this one way off. <laughs> But it'll work. Okay, so now I've got this done. What I want to do is I, I again I, I'm, I could use glue on this. I'm, I'm not 100% certain it will hold on to my camera, so I'm going to put it in here. And first, we're going to do this. Let's go ahead. This don't have to be very precise. Just eyeball it. I want to. I want to hold there. And one about on the other side there okay let's see here let's go with the, this drill bit right here okay I just wanted to make sure I have one on each side. Okay. So put this on here good and tight. Here we go. Now I'm going to drill a pilot hole that will accommodate these two screws that I've just had in my junk drawer. ball on it <laughs> wow I got that one way off so there it is so the balls on there good and tight your stud is tight these are screwed in here and here this is not going to come apart you're not going to lose your camera as long as you put the camera on uh, good and tight you're going to be in good shape um, it seems like it might be heavy I will say that Obviously, the further the extension is out, the more it takes to get it up and hold it steady. Uh, if, if, but what I do is I put the, so it's got a rubber handle here, and I just, I just set that on the ground and, uh, and, and pull it up into place and just work with it until, until you've uh, found, got it in, you know, reasonably level. I hold it as, as close as I can to that. I have a, um, I use a, a, a wired switch trigger for my camera. So I hold that down for the three times, let it take all three. I still do, I, I do a three photo uh, exposure bracketing. Um, and on the setting on Photomatics, if you, uh, if you tell it, you know, you know, you can choose if it's on tripod and then I don't know, three other levels of that. Uh, I choose, I always choose handheld, moderate. I think it's what it, the, the middle one uh, and they come out beautiful. So I don't have any issues with that. Um, this prevents me from getting out the drone, uh, which, you know, a lot of times I'd rather not do that because um, sometimes the, uh, you know, the clients kind of get the idea that, oh, drone, drone shots are free, so get a bunch more in my house and I don't want to 
go down that road um, because it is a premium service, the drone shots are. So this way I can just uh, use my steel camera because the, the agents often are there watching anyways and quite honestly, they're pretty impressed when I get something like this out. They're like, what in the world is that? So anyways, it works beautifully. Uh, I think you'll like it. And, um, and that's all there, of course I'll, you know, I'll paint this and uh, paint it black so it looks a little more professional. <laughs> it doesn't look like homemade PVC pipe. So I'll paint it black and I'll leave it on here and I'll just leave this in my garage. It's in eight feet. I put it in into my, I either drive a truck or a CRV and it fits easily in both of them. So, uh, and I use it all the time. Nice talk with you guys. <laughs>